Hi there, you guys. How are you? Jacqueline Jacks from ABA Live Radio. Good to see you. So, um, I am actually filming a girl boss video right now. And the reason why is because uh, my friend Tracy Timberlake, Dr. Tracy Timberlake, and myself have been discussing some things for the future, things that I could probably be doing better. And the reason why we were talking about it is because she designed a mini course. And I thought this would be a really great time since she's got this thing that she's doing online. She's talking to her clients about what they can do to scale their business. And seeing as she had this mini course that she was doing and today is the first day of the mini course, I signed up for it so that I can walk through this entire thing as a user and benefit from it and also give her feedback on it and tell you guys about it too. Now, I know a lot of you are musicians, so you're probably not gonna wanna start a course, right? But there comes a time in everybody's business in one way or another where you have to scale it. Me personally, this benefits me big time, right? You, if you're a musician, maybe not so much because your scale is going to be your music and your videos and bringing brands in to your business, right? And then you have your clients are your, um, the venues that you go and, and perform at and then your other clients are the listeners and the fans. So you're not gonna be doing a course. However, this is gonna be very motivating for a lot of the people who are dealing with clients one-to-one -one, like me because what I do is I take a musician from start to finish and I help them develop as an artist. They take care of the creative and I'm doing all of the marketing and branding and all of that wonderful side that they just can't figure out on their own and they're not doing really, really well themselves. So this course, I think is a great idea for me to scale because I cannot be in so many places at once. And anytime you reach a point in your business where you feel like you're doing so much one-to-one, -one, right? Hi, how are you? It's good to see you guys. I'm doing some live right now too, so just so you know. Uh, when you're waiting on people one-to-one, -one, you can only be in so many places at once. And the only way to scale would be write a book, right? So that more people can consume the ideas and the strategies. You can do more video, which I am starting to do this month. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of video on YouTube for AVA Live Radio, and I'm also going to be doing a lot of video on my YouTube channel, which is where this video is going to end up ultimately with some nice uh, information below on how you can actually take this mini course if you want to, or you can sign up to get my course once it's finished. Um, as I go through this process on the Girl Boss series, you're gonna see me actually developing the course and get an idea for how I put it together, how much work and time goes into it, and what you're gonna receive if you decide to, to stick with me and take my courses. If you're one of my one-to-one -one customers and you usually sit with me one-to-one -one and do, uh, you know, like your strategy sessions, then this might be something in addition to that that'll be good because a lot of times I have so many bookings I can't take anymore. Um, that, of course, is one of the benefits of doing a course because I can offer a lot of the strategy sessions and things that I typically spend a lot of time doing and can't do enough of in a course. So the cost will be less for the end user and also you'll be able to get at those courses anytime you want without waiting for me to be able to schedule an appointment with you. Because right now, it probably takes about two to three weeks just to get a one hour appointment with me. But a course would be something you could access right here, right now, and save on some costs. So I think there's like benefits to it, and I can see where if I do wanna scale and be able to help more people, this would be a way to do it. So thanks to Tracy for helping me set this up and you know, doing this mini course with a Today is a six phase checklist, so I'm gonna go through that with you guys, just to like expand and explore this little area. It's something I've always wanted to do. A lot of people ask me to do it, and I think it's time we bite the bullet and go for it. So when you're thinking about your business moving forward and you're thinking of how many hours a day you wanna work and how many hours a day you can work, how much you can make on those hours, and 
at what point you're gonna have a life other than work. Now, as you guys know, I work so hard. I work a lot of hours. So anything that I can think of to take pieces of what I do really, really well and scale them, of course, is gonna be beneficial to me, but also to everyone, so I'm not so tired. And one of the things that uh, she brought up that I think is really valuable is that when you create a scalable product, you're not using all of your brain power all the time to deliver that in a one-to-one -one sphere. You're actually delivering it one time and you set it in motion where people can access it. And from that point on, I can use my brain to go think up new exciting things that I can add and couple up on top of it. So the idea here isn't just to build one massive course. My idea, since I get fresh new ideas and strategies all the time, and I'm always adjusting to where social media is at or whatever's going on in the market, is to layer the courses so that some can drop off, some can be fresh, some can be new, and you can take them in your own timing. And I think that's a really, really good advantage to doing it this way, you know what I mean? Um, so writing a book, of course, would be another way to do it, but not everybody wants to get something through a book. Not everybody is great with books, and I feel like some of the information she's been telling me has been boosting courses, and I'm going to tell you what those are in just a second. Also creating videos is really good, but I'll, you can create an audio course, you can create a graphics course, you can create... Uh, a mix media course which is going to have some video some audio and some um, almost like you see in webinars and also paid webinars are another great way to be able to monetize and structure what it is that you have to offer but over more of a scalable product so I can see where all these things kind of meet together and they really do work in the advantage and I've been just kind of considering it but I think You'll agree with me, the course is the way to go. I also have a newsletter at musicmarketinginsider.com. So if you are a musician and you're interested in like getting your feet wet with me, go over to my website at jacklinjacks.tv because that's where I post a lot of the blogs every week. And then the next level would be the newsletter, which is musicmarketinginsider.com. And after that, if you need more personalized attention, that's when we get to the one-to-one -one appointments. So you can see if I don't have any available one-to-ones, then the next thing would be you either have to grab me on a behind the music series interview where I can talk to you live on the radio, but that's not really personal. Like it's personal, but it's not private. So you have to be willing to kind of voice that whole situation that you have questions about in public view, which is great, and people don't mind doing it, and we do it all the time, we've done it for 10 years, but this would be that additional side to it, would be breaking down information and strategies into a course that you can take on your own, from your cell phone, whenever you feel like accessing it, and not wait for me. Okay, done. That is that is a solid reason to do this. All right, so, um, so we got through the why. So now I'm going through her six phase checklist and on the checklist it's pretty cool she sent me an email because you sign up for it and then she sends it to you to keep you motivated and I need that kind of motivation so thank you um, she said simply put a mini course is an e-learning lesson and lesson that someone can complete in an afternoon so we want to keep it short want to keep it sweet and I agree with that I think that's perfect for me because rather than try to evolve and develop a massive course that gets really, really expensive and might not appeal or apply to everyone all the time. I think there's an advantage to doing smaller sectional courses that are more specific and really do attack one thing at a time. Like for instance, right now on YouTube and also on, um, on my website, JacquelineJacks.tv, I just started to talk about some strategies that I use when we're launching video for an artist. And I just so happen to have about 10 new music videos coming out for artists this week that I'm gonna be working with. And as I went through some of the strategies, I'm like, you know, Taylor Swift just had a huge win on her latest video. And she had a specific strategy that she applied 
coming into the launch of the video. So it'd be fun to write a blog post on how she did it and how that could work for some artists if they want to put that kind of time and energy and work into it. It might be something that they can do often. Now you take that strategy and that idea and you apply it to a mini course and now you have something even bigger than just the blog post and the video that I created. And that's something you know that would be, I think, invaluable to every artist that's launching a music video. Even if you are coming with me and getting us to use the power of the radio station, the music community, the newsletters, and everything else we've got to push that video forward, you still have some things that you should do in creating your own content in order to give us the best things to work with. So a mini course would be able to set that up from start to finish and thus that's another great reason how and, and how I can use this to everybody's advantage. Now she did say some interesting things in this, uh, this first newsletter that she put out and she said why do I need it? And I think we have been talking on the Daily Jacks so much about scale, the internet business, starting a business online, and why it's important. And I've received a lot of questions from you guys over the months about what's the current state of the internet and what's happening moving forward. Like, is it important to get on the internet and do things? Is it, is it something that's like declining? Is social media worth the effort? Is it really good to, to just, you know, kind of nurture a fan base and put all that time and energy into it? Here's the thing. Now, she made a really good point. She said, e-learning increases retention by 25 to 60%. Very true. When I learn things online that I've looked up and I actually want to learn, it's like applied learning. I feel like I'm more open to learning and I feel like my clients are too. I feel like when a musician wants to hire me to do something, their full energy is on it and they're ready to go. And I need that kind of attentiveness. I need that focus from them in order for them to get the things done that I list for them to do. Because I can't do my job until they do their jobs. So I think that this is a really good thing to consider when you're looking to shift into building your business online. For musicians, for entrepreneurs, whatever it is, if you're fully focused and your passion is there, you are definitely going to retain what it is that you're going after so much easier. The learning worldwide is already a multi-billion dollar industry and is slated to grow to 325 billion in the next five to to six years. I totally understand. Now many of you have asked me, is the internet over? Is it still like too hard to get into? Is it too late for me? Am I too old? You have gone through all of those changes, but no, it's not. It's still really early. It's still to the point where yes, people that got on YouTube seven, eight years ago are now at the 1.5 million mark, but listen, I talk about their story all the time on the Daily Jacks and it all comes down to one thing, content creation, being doing something every single day that you absolutely love and that you want to keep doing forever or at least for the next five years, right? And putting something in motion that is going to be a job or a career for you that really does feed your passion and make you feel good about yourself. If you can find all that wrapped into the internet. That's an amazing thing. And I think that that's why like nine out of 10 people really want to start a job on the internet. They really want to do something in this technology or within this time and this motion forward where uh, it's just not your average thing. Now, everybody's not going to be suited for it. Everybody's not going to get it and be able to market things and figure out what they want to do and, and develop it be able to build websites. You're not all gonna be able to set up courses. Some of you are gonna be musicians who are gonna live stream and that's gonna be your thing. Some of you are gonna be musicians who are going to launch music with AVA Live Radio and work with me on digital and then go to a venue and perform. And some people are going to take a bite out of entrepreneurship and start a business online some way. Maybe spurring off of a social page that you've been able to develop. Maybe not. Maybe you're going to start the business first and then try to raise a social page around it for advertising. There's going to be a lot of different ways. 
and there are a lot of routines and a lot of strategies and a lot of ways to do it. I think the point is though, it's never too late. It's not too late right now. And whatever it is that you have to offer to the world, as long as it's unique and you do it really, really well, or even if you start to develop it and you let people evolve through that story as you become really good at it, those are definitely encouraging factors for you to be able to do this right through your cell phone. I mean, I'm making this video right through my cell phone right now. It's simple. I'm just talking to you right here on a live stream and hanging out with you while I walk through this motion. So you're seeing something being created as we go through the weeks. I'm going to go through the weeks together with you as I create my first course. In which case you'll decide if it's the specific thing you want to learn at that time and it's going to help you move forward or if you're going to wait for the next one. You know what I mean? But either way, you're going to learn and grow and understand what's happening on the internet and what we're all doing here and how we're doing it. And I think that's really important both to inspire you and also for you to get educated as to what's going on in our world today. It's really incredible, really incredible. And there's so many different facets to it. So um, I love what she said. She, she definitely is encouraging in this mini course and the checklist really does make you think about if it's right for you or if it's something that uh, maybe you, you could use to scale your business. She says, I always get questions about this. The truth is, what's the price of something that you should, you should charge? Well, I've talked a lot about this for musicians because many, many musicians want to uh, monetize their fan base, but they don't quite understand how and they don't know how much they should charge because they feel like music is free. And right now, music is free. It is because you can put it on YouTube, which you should. You should be using your music as a vehicle to expand, right? You should be creating amazing music to get attention and putting it on YouTube, putting it on Spotify. And yes, you're not really getting paid for it because it's free. This is where we're at. However, the fan base that you will raise as a result of making amazing products, amazing music, is the monetizable factor. Those are the people that are going to crowdfund you. So then when you talk about price, you have to think of what is it that it's going to cost you to make an album and make videos? What dollar amount do you need to raise funds for that will allow you to get from point A to point B with great quality and something that you can do day after day, right? How is it that are you going to work a second job while you're doing this? If so, how much does it cost to actually put this out? Do you want to make a profit on it? You have to include all that in when you go to monetize. And that's where you would kind of come up with a dollar amount. Now, many of my artists are doing crowd funds and sometimes they put a dollar amount, $500 per song. Sometimes they put a thousand dollars per song. It depends on who they're working with, what they have access to and what kind of money they need to come up with in order to make their project move forward. So as far as monetizing and as far as coming up with a price, it's like you've got supply, you've got demand, and you've got to figure out where you are in between. So for me personally, I like the idea of doing the mini courses for my clients and not having to charge a ton of money in one big lump sum. The reason why is because everybody that I work for Aside, even management and labels that I work for, they like to get bite-sized pieces and they're going to do two runs, one of two things. The, the independent musicians are going to want to get something that's very specific and teaches them only what they need to know and how much do they need to pay to get that. And it's got to be sound. It's got to be really valuable and not going to break the bank right? Because it's going to be a motion forward. They're going to have to layer additional skills on top of that. So we have to make room to be able to let them afford multiple courses over the course of a year. For record labels and independent uh, management companies, they're going to be able to, yes, fund higher dollar amounts. The only thing is that they, again, I believe, are going to want to learn specific things, specific skills. And if I put a course with so many different things in it together and so massive, 
it's going to be piecemealed anyway. It might discourage, and I see a lot of thumbs up. I see you guys are really liking that idea. It's true, right? Wouldn't you rather just be able to take the courses that you want and not be forced to take the courses that you feel don't really apply to you? It's kind of like college. When I was in college and they used to charge a huge amount for uh, you to be able to take the college courses, they wouldn't let me just take the courses I wanted. I had to take all of the courses and pay for all of them equally and sit through the things that I wasn't actually gonna use and that I didn't feel were the most valuable to me. So I think that this the mini course structure, in my case, and what I'm offering you guys, is really the way to go. So that's another thing that is done in the checklist. And the final piece that I thought was really great is six phase checklist that she gave me. Hey there, how are you guys? I just wanna say hi, cause I see you coming in to the live stream. Now, I thought this was really helpful. Um, the first thing was pick a course niche. And I recommend that when you're choosing something that you be as specific as possible. And this goes to what I was just saying. If you, if you categorize too broad, then what happens is people feel like they're paying for something that they don't really want. So you don't need to put everything in one course. And I would love to hear what you guys really want to learn from me that you've always wanted to know. Because there are so many questions that come in on off the internet onto my Facebook page and my Instagram page and my website that have to do with, I think, more specific things like launching a video or launching an album on Instagram. These type of things seem to be really popular um, as far as things that you want to know, and they're very specific. That, I feel, would be perfect for courses from me because I think that the more niche down they are and the more strategic they are, then we can make them really valuable to you and be able to put them out at scale very quickly and be able to switch out the information as things change. And that way you're not investing a huge bulk of money on a very, very large course, you're getting exactly what you need. So let me know if you think that's the way to go. I think it is. I think that that really does make sense and it's going to be more valuable to everybody and uh, just be something that you can actually get into and that you wanna get into in just a night. You know what I mean? And jump right in. The second thing was phase two, identify your target market. Well, obviously for me, it's musicians, management, I deal with record labels. I deal with pretty much anyone who is in the music business or promoting an artist in the music business. So I absolutely know who I'm talking to. The, the, the other one is market research. What is the biggest problem your target market is experiencing? Okay, I know my market really well because I've been here. I totally know that you guys wanna know how to market your music. Get more exposure, get more people onto your music. That's what we do every single day at AVA Live Radio. That's just my job from morning to night is getting eyes on videos, getting ears on broadcasts, creating the broadcast with really amazing content so that you guys are interested and that you're relating and you understand what's in the content and making the artist speak in a way and tell you things that you can understand and relate to. So in other words, I think one of the things that I've been able to do really well on the broadcast is make the shows relatable. From my end, I get artists on there that are really nervous, right? Because they don't quite know exactly what to say that is going to be the most interesting to you. Things that they might want to say might not be something you really care about. So they kind of leave it up to me to decide and I've been able to kind of navigate through the pre-interview phase as to what I think you all most want to ask. And I guess it's because I've spent a lot of time talking to you and you always weigh in on your comments after the interviews. You always send me messages and let me know what you really enjoyed and what you didn't or questions you wish I would have asked. And I remember in the beginning, y'all used to say, I wish you would have asked this. I mean, do you remember on Periscope we used to open the Periscope while we did the interviews and you guys would ask the questions and then I would go on there. That gave me a tremendous insight into what you really wanted to know. And from this day forward, I actually use a lot of those questions and a lot of that strategy when I'm interviewing. So it was really helpful.
So understanding your market and understanding what people really want to learn and what the problem is they're having, I think is going to be key. And that's gonna require you guys to give me a lot of feedback. So as we're going through this development, please don't hold back. Please let me know in the comments what it is you really wanna learn from me. Because as specific as I can get, that's gonna make those courses just so valuable to you. And I have a lot of experience and I have a lot of knowledge. So the strategies that I could explain to you can go on for days, but it's really not gonna be the most valuable to you unless I exactly know which one you're looking for. So that's where your comments are gonna come in. So, so handy as we go through this together. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to pay attention to the Girl Boss videos as I go through this process. And be sure to say hi to my friend, Dr. Tracy Timberlake, who is doing a collab with me on this amazing thing because this is what she does for a living. She helps entrepreneurs like myself expand and find out when they should scale, how they should scale, and to whom they should scale. And she's really good at it. That's what she does really, really well. So uh, being the answer to the problem is her phase four. My answer to that is I am just all about solutions. I mean, even when we do the behind the music episodes on ABA, there is a point in time where every single artist will ask me what I think, whether it be uh, the music that they just put out, the branding behind it, where they should be, what social media is going on, like where they should be on social, how they should be approaching the social content, what kind of content production they should do. And I have this really amazing gift that happens when somebody asks me a question. I always get this great answer. It's like it comes out of all the experience that I've had over all these years and I'm able to solve the problem. But like I said, the best thing you all can do for me since I'm not gonna be doing this one-to-one -one live, but I am gonna build it on live streams, is to give me questions in the comments because that's gonna help me answer them in the course. <laughs> if I were to do this just sitting alone, I might not get the right questions from my own head. I might think they're gonna to wanna to know this, right? But by building this on the live stream with you, you're able to ask questions real time with me and get some real answers and then I can go and include it in the course. Sounds like a win-win, right? I think so. Okay, so the next thing she said, and this is just two more, phase five is the course outline. So as soon as we decide on exactly what topic I'm gonna to do the first course on, which I'm gonna help, you guys are gonna help me with that, then we're gonna do a short course outline on one of these upcoming videos and we'll figure out exactly what you wanna learn and make sure that we streamline it so it's just not overwhelming, it's something that you can grasp really easily and you can get to work on right away. So you can use it, apply it, and just make it happen. And that's really gonna be the goal. And then six, of course, is pricing. We'll figure out the price. I think that depending on the size of the course, I'm gonna try and keep the prices very economically sound because I know my customers and I know that uh, your marketing dollars are really, really important. And I wanna make sure that at the end of the day, you not only can afford to launch music on AVA Live Radio and be able to get us active, actively marketing, marketing for you, but I want you to be able to afford the courses too so that you can get the information really, really well. And then of course, there'll be a level of free that you'll have from me just by following the YouTube channel and being part of my newsletter and also looking at my blog at JacquelineJacks.tv. So kind of got it all together, right? So we're gonna have the free areas, we're gonna have the paid course structure for more intense learning and strategy with support, and then you'll be able to launch music with AVA Live Radio and me here doing interviews and also new Music Mondays and commercials. That'll be fun too. Okay, so. At the end of her checklist, she says, congratulations. Once you have done that, you are ready to start creating your course content. A few do's and don'ts. Let's just go through these really quick. Don't try to create everything in one day. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I would too. Good thing you told me that. You will drive yourself nuts. Instead, take a look at your planner and map out 
your creation process. Okay, already doing that on monday.com. Yes, monday.com is awesome, by the way. Don't underestimate the time it will take to create it. I'm totally taking my time with this, not rushing at all, because <laughs> I want to hear a lot back from you guys on it. Do get help and uh, hire people if you need to hire people. I, I say definitely collaborate with somebody on it. If you're going to be doing a course, you definitely want to go to Dr. Tracy Timberlake because she is amazing. And I have worked with her from day one. She and I have grown up on the internet, like I said before. She used to be do amazing uh, award-winning beauty videos on YouTube. I remember when she first started, and uh, this is when I was just starting in broadcasting. So like, we kind of have watched each other grow, and it's amazing what she's been able to do for entrepreneurs and uh, the people that she works with. And I've even, she's got, she's recommended so many amazing clients to me too in the music business that I have really been blessed to meet and really excited to meet. So we've really worked well together. So I would definitely, if you're an entrepreneur and you are thinking about monetizing and getting a course together for yourself, a learning course, or want to monetize your business that way, she's going to be something you're going to want to see. So do celebrate the small stuff is something that I do all the time. Make sure that whatever you do, you celebrate. And sometimes for me, it's just about a caramel macchiato because that's just like heaven to me. Actually, I was, I was celebrating this afternoon after a caramel macchiato. I just kind of like got it at Starbucks and I was just kind of paying homage to it and meditating over the pretty little caramel on the foam for a little while before I drank it. And that was my celebrating the small stuff today. And do enroll at Dr. TT's Course Creator Clinic. It's a five day clinic, that's what I'm doing, that's why I'm videoing it so she gets some free PR for helping me out with this and hopefully we will end up with at least course one after this. I wanted to talk about my experience with it because I think that Tracy deserves all the best and I love her to death and uh, like I said, she's been a friend of mine forever. So drtracytimberlake.com forward slash course clinic is where you can pick this up if you do want to do this and then you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneur looking to get into monetizing your skills. Um, as far as musicians go, it's probably not for musicians, but that's not really her demographic. It's mostly for entrepreneurs. Actually, it's all for entrepreneurs, but you can kick butt if you want to build a business on the, on the internet with her. So I highly recommend you go follow her anyway, because she's got lots and lots of really great information and she's such a cool person. All right, Tracy, love you to death. Thanks so much for collaborating with me on this. I can't wait to get started. Love the email. It is absolutely beautiful. Let me show it off. This is the email she sent me with the course. So um, I'm really excited. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you got some knowledge out of it. I tried to think of things that you probably would want to know um, as you were scaling your business or thinking about doing something like this moving forward. It is a lot of work, yes, but if you really know your skills and you don't want to write a book, this might be an option for you that's really good. Um, I have actually set together and I have two books written that I haven't finished editing yet and it is a hella process. I have been over a year working on them and they are not nearly done and the information keeps changing so thinking this is going to be my, my road to greatness. Alright guys, I'll, t I'll talk to you later. I have another video coming out on Jacqueline Jacks about my personal experiences moving to Toronto. I know you guys are waiting for it so get ready. Bye.